sense transcends all party affiliation. Now we have a lot of Democrats that are coming over because really we're the party of common sense. We're a party of common sense. We want to have that strong military. We have to. I totally rebuilt the military. All of the things that we did, that's what they want. The greatest economy in the history of our country is what we had, and people want to go back. This is the New York Times piece tries to warn voters that a second Trump administration would mean a secure border, more manufacturing jobs, law and order, and an end to foreign wars. No joke. And that's supposed to scare people. Joining us right now with his thoughts is former cabinet secretary for President Trump and now congressman uh, in Montana, Ryan Zinke. Congressman, great to see you. Hey, great to be with you. you know, well, what I think they forget is this is a movement. It's more than just a candidate. This is a movement because America is not where the Biden administration is on almost any issue. You know, what's interesting is when... So common sense works. Common it's, sense works. You're not even talking conservative. Well, and, and do what you say you're going to do. A promise made should be a promise kept. In the White House, when it walked in, you see Bannon had an office just off the side. And there was a long list of things that President Trump promised during the campaign. And this huge whiteboard was there, and every time the president would accomplish one, that went off the board, and this is what we're working on. And what you see in this article is, yeah, we want a secure border. And you know what? He also understands service industry. He says, you know what? That's not tax, you know, service industry tips. Because he, he gets it. If you're in the service industry, look, it, it's tough, right? And not taxing tips, he goes, you know, this is exactly what we need to do, common sense, you know, to, to feed the economy. You know, it's just so interesting because he ran in 2016, 2020, but the issues are coming full circle. When he's talking about law and order and putting federal troops into Portland and talking about some of the unrest in the streets in 20, people are like, what are you doing? You're crazy. Now they're saying, come. Now they're saying at the border, of course we need to build a wall. Of course we need control. Of course we don't want 8 million people here that we don't know. And of course we want to have a strong military. It's a logic rather than what do conservatives and what do liberals think. And that's why guys like Bill Maher and John Stewart have said, what happened to logic when it comes to, and James Carville too. The other thing I want to bring up is some foreign policy that you know, because you fight wars as well as represent us now in uh, Congress. The President of the United States overseas, uh, which went after Republicans, which many presidents never would do. But here's what he said, and here's what he got confused. The idea that we become semi-isolationists now, which some are talking about. I mean, the idea we had to wait all those months just to get the money for Iraq that we, because we were waiting. I mean, it's just, it just, it's not who we are. It's not who America is. Well, the gaftastic president did it again. I see Iraq and Iran, but it's very rare Iraq and Ukraine. Well, when you talk about isolationism, uh, let's talk about the Biden administration. You can, you can start with Afghanistan. You can roll over no plan in Ukraine. $130 billion, we have no plan. We have Israel on fire. First time that a direct strike from Iran. We're talking ICBM launch. Direct strike, we do nothing but shoot them down. And, of course, you have China. So isolationist is that our allies don't trust us and our enemies don't fear us. That isolates the U.S., you guys wrote a check for $65 billion, and you said, get them equipment. You did that. None of the equipment has arrived. He wants to focus on the delay in Congress, and that's fine. But that ship has sailed. The real issue is, where's the stuff? Where's the training of the F-16 pilots? Where are the F-16s? It's been a year and a half. How long does it take to deliver stuff that was evidently on uh, pallets ready to go? And withholding ammunition from Israel. Remember, our closest ally in the East still doing it, right? It, it, it is willful or incompetence. I'm thinking it's a little bit of both. But some of you, you look at our foreign policy in the Middle East, and this administration, many of them were Obama retreads, have an affinity towards Iran. You look at it, it's almost that the State Department has been compromised because inside there is this sympathy and, and support of Iran from the sanctions to, to now that this action. Uh, I, I think America's figuring it out. Many people in the State Department don't like the country, and that's 